talking about those women, independent women. And I don't know what happened. You know, Ilifika Mahali, it was something to Najeka Oku, Budges, Miss Independent. And they sang songs, they made us feel good. And it was one thing that you were always aspiring to be as a woman. I'm working hard so I can be independent. Then, there's the dating scene. Time is going. You feel like you want to settle down. But the one thing that you worked so hard for is the one thing that you need to check on if you really want this relationship marriage to work. Zulu. <laughs> did you start with that song? Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Just to his child. <laughs> you know? And, and you know, the way you introduce it reminds me that of many dualities of life. Yeah. That in every truth you need to know where this stops, where this ends. Mm -hmm. It's not an extreme of throwing independence out the door. Yes. It's not the, 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 the extreme of getting it 100% just independent. Mm -hmm. It's knowing the context, what is for what. Because I tell you the truth, every healthy person, healthy woman needs a degree of independence and self-sufficiency. You need the resources that can sustain you in this life. I've told you the journey. Before you can have a happy love life. You must organize for a happy life yourself. That is true. That, if that's what you mean by independence, then you're right. That you are not looking for a man to come buy you a car, a good house, mm. good clothes. You organize your life to buy them yourself. Bocha, okay, I'm not wearing one. I bought it. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And the one thing is to say, you must come from the ground and yeah. plan your life without conditioning on who I get married to. Because many could not plan for a good life except marrying a wealthy man. And they still go looking for materialism. So this movement of independence was answering dependency of also depend on men to give them their life. So they were coming from that end saying, hey, try first get things for yourself. Yes. And uh, I want also to silence this group that keep us key. Are you talking about Kenyan men? Because when you talk about how women are supposed to allow men to treat them, they always counter say there's no such man. When did you conduct the census? Oh, okay. <coughs> Please, <laughs> don't come and give me generalized statements. <laughs> and you're not Kenya Bureau of Statistics. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> so, just because your space has been frustrating, yes. or rather your life has been unpleasant, mm -hmm. does not mean the whole land yeah. is hopeless. Always personalize your comments. In my experience, yes. Now, that's right. We won't argue with your, your experience. <laughs> we don't know where you are doing your intake from. Even when they give data, they say, what were the sample size drawn from where? Yes. To see how relevant it is to the largest scope. Are you talking about Gajan? Where are those? Who are dead? It's not here. In who are you? So, those generalization, in fact, one of the greatest uh, philosophers said generalization is the first sign of ignorance and foolishness. And say, when a person is arriving at a point, let them land it. Don't try to pick what you already know and force, assume it's going there. Yeah. I'm not talking about those kind of men that have frustrated you. Mm -mm. Now, we're talking about independence and how much of it is necessary. Okay. And we are saying, even if, as I told you once, if you realize a word has been so abused until it's obscure, yeah. drop it. Like dating. Yes. <laughs> For your own planning to avoid confusion, yes. replace independence with uh -huh. um, planning to have a good life, being strong, being resourceful, being endowed yourself, self-development. Okay. Because in other quarters, when you say independent, the connotations that come to mind are from those loud voices that have been against relationships, against men, against men, against submission, against, against, against. If there have been negative connotations that might obscure your message, then get alternative language to say yeah. the same. Yeah. The right thing to say today, although we wrote there, we are talking about strong independent. We are using the phrase that is common. Yes. But let me tell you, I'm talking about a healthy woman. Mm. There are women who have a lot of power issues, who have pain that they have not resolved that they saw a woman, maybe their mother submitting to a man and she was abused, who was taken through hell and she hated the idea yeah. of being in a relationship with a man or submitting to a man. Many of them don't understand that submission simply means yielding to leadership. It's not all these things being sat on, subdued, powerless, mm -hmm. controlled, being made a puppet. So yeah. they saw a lot of abuse that was branded submission 
and instead of learning and unlearning, they carried as the placard, say no, say no, say no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. So they are on a silent protest. Every time you bring in topic, they don't even listen to what you're saying. They mm -hmm. just blow up. Blow up. And I told you of a group that is very bitter. This is the second group in terms of ranking of bitterness and pain and frustrations. Okay. Because their comradeship comes from fellowship of suffering. They have failed so much that they find consolation in each other. Yeah. I told you about the PhD girls who gathered somewhere. Mm -hmm. And when they came, one of them wrote an article and said, is this PhD a blessing or a curse? Oh. Because they're isolating us from what we also wanted. And the conclusion was, it's not the paper, it's the attitude we have about it. Ah. Feeling special and superior. Yes. And this. yes. And, I, <laughs> and I told you that FIDA, you may think FIDA, they are also protesting. Mm. A long time leader there was an auntie of my classmate in campus. And he told me, you won't know what she is at home. The most down to earth mother, wife, auntie, mentor. You can't tell whether they talk like that there. Soon we got another dean because it, it was, there was this notion that lady lawyers are very aggressive, oppressive, yes. impossible to yes. clean. They can't follow an instruction. Mm. Don't marry a lawyer. That was that's very common. It's still there. It's still there. <laughs> so we got we got a dean, <laughs> professor of law, the most motherly woman I had ever met in the whole campus. She would come making our callers. <laughs> she would, my son, this shoe. <laughs> oh, imagine she uh, and you look hungry. I have some bread here. Please take. <laughs> so nice, simple. You wouldn't see lawyer anywhere. You just saw a nice person. Let me give you an announcement that will help you. Mm -hmm. Pride does not come from the profession. It comes from the heart. Yes. They get the profession as a weapon to wield the meanness of the heart. It's not because the policeman was hired that they fired, shot at people. It's not the gun. It's not the police career. It's not the military. No. no. It's their heart. They used this as a weapon to execute what they were feeling. I told you about many places I hear the Kamba people are this way, this mm. is place. And I came and told you, it's not witchcraft that is the problem. <laughs> it's a wicked heart. Yeah. It's meanness. It's jealousy. Witchcraft is just a weapon that escapes the law, manages to hide, still executes a lot of evil force, what they wanted. They wanted to hurt you. It's not the career. It's not the money, this independent, strong women that makes them bad. It's not where they're working. It's not Michael being on TV. Mm -mm. One of the ladies that impressed most working for leading uh, uh, media today. I would do shows in other medias, and she mm. would text to say, you know, our families need these conversations. Yeah. Continue to what you're doing. Oh. In arrival media, when I was working for another one. Wow. Personally, I don't even, I don't know why she go to the country and say, this one so just want to complain. We have means. <laughs> you want oh, something. you guys. <laughs> yes. <laughs> your place, you can say, anybody in this number, it, 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 yes. <laughs> so, I, 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 I was so amazed at how yeah. personal and simple it's a celebrity I'm watching on TV. I never knew she could. She has another side to herself that is yeah. not celebrity anything. Yeah. So please, let's begin by saying the problem with these women today is not their strength or their independence. No. The problem is what notions they have about marriage and the position of a woman in marriage. Okay. Th they are champions. They are women champions who have been lifting the girl child. And telling them to unite and oppose all the oppressions that the women have been visited upon. Mm -hmm. And that's a very good movement. I've also encouraged you, you know, you know yeah. me. Yeah. If a girl comes telling me the, the nonsense she did, mm -hmm. instead of building herself, mm -hmm. tell her this is self-inflicted. Yeah. You have seen enough damage happening when people go around giving birth, getting children, getting married, when they don't have a fallback plan or a way to survive in the world. So don't... Stop pretending you are you're surprised. Eh? Yes. You knew this is a possibility. Yeah? Yeah. So some say you are stuck, you are broken. Da, 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 da. Sorry, I'm not a witch doctor. <laughs> <In case> you <laughs> they are looking for a miracle. Many of them are asking for a miracle. Yes. 
<laughs> when they've complicated their life. So those women are to be complimented and I don't want you to wait for a movement. Train your daughter, train your son. Don't wait for those movements. Instill it. And the reason we do these lessons and this come together, these daily conversations, which I hope will go on in our generation and beyond. Yeah. I realize one thing the developed world do they do, they value talk shows. Here yes. we value entertainment shows. Mm. There you find personalities who have inspired generations. Where are they in our culture? Where are they? We only have superstars dancing and showing us their body and the hey, where they are cooking. This now they have millions of followers. Who is the equivalent of Oprah Winifred and Steve Harvey? The two of them. Who is the equivalent? Thank you. So <laughs> the future equivalent. Yes. <laughs> so working on it. When you look at their generation, we yeah. have nobody talking like that here. Who could simply inspire, inspire and encourage? Let me tell you. Yes, our, we are still young. When you look at Abraham Lincoln, those guys were having presidents long ago. Mm. And that's we are just saying the fourth president. Yes. So it's okay we are still young. But I'm saying, are we on course to discuss the right things? So what is the solution now? We are saying the first, the first instruction to these women who want to date and they're progressive. It's not number one. Don't hide your success. Don't hide your car. Don't hide your house. Don't avoid mentioning your property. Don't wear different kind of clothes. Don't hide your shoes. Don't try to hide the thief where you are in life. That's the first mistake. They think because they have this money or this job or this status, they have to hide it to get anybody. Mm. Number two, okay. The f number one is don't 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 hide it and also don't flaunt it. Yes. Don't make it the subject. Don't place the, the key conspicuously between us. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> you know? Yeah, just, just in case you didn't know. In life, humility will take you far. That is true. Learn those habits that don't... In fact, once you get a house, you realize it was just, just there. You can't keep being preoccupied. You are thankful you got there. Yeah. But it's not what you're always thinking about. That's true. <laughs> you're obsessed with a car before you get it. After you get it, your mind moves on to other things. Mm -hmm. It's now, but it's getting integrated into your life. You obsess over the job and what it will bring you. After you get it, now you are busy trying to deliver on the mandate. <laughs> Everything is only exciting before you get it. Yeah. Pride is to be obsessed with something even once you have gotten it. After you get it, you are grateful. You are thankful for the grace to get there. But then you move your mind to the next thing. <laughs> this is a journey. There's no end. You know, and uh, uh, one thing I admired with the late Kofi Annan is he rose to the top of society, still very humble and simple. I tell you, when he died and he had married, I think in Sweden, they had a na national mourning day for their in-law. A black man married away, but there is a European country mourning, yes. <laughs> you know, because of his humility and simplicity that you couldn't see. I saw one guy who was resigning and his salary was 22 million. Uh, Kenya shillings. <laughs> Kenyan, I'm saying. So before you say Kenyans, all of them are greedy. Look at the guy. Yes. Who's moving on without finishing his town, leaving maybe 10 months or something. That would have been 220 million. Yep. When you talk of million, those are thinking dollars. Just think of maybe $10,000 or something. Mm -hmm. When you think of uh, the, the economy we are in or what is happening, do not fix yourself on the trend. And don't say, I'm the only one who has money, I must show it. I'm the only one who has achieved, I must parade it. I'm the only one. Yeah. Maintain humility. Humility is the only capacity to get more. Humility does not mean thinking less of yourself. It means, thinking, it means thinking of yourself less times. You're not preoccupied with yourself. Mm. You know what you're worth, you know your value, but it's not always what you bring up. It's not mm. always what you bring to the... Remember the difference? Yes. You don't think, you don't lower yourself, don't diminish your value, don't think less of yourself. It's thinking of yourself less, less times. More, don't, you're not loud about it. <laughs> you know your value and it, it is there. <laughs> I don't have to argue it and flaunt it. Mwikali, if you come from this one and a guy wants to meet you for a date, go, just as you are. Yeah. Go, and if they, if they can assist you get parking, it's a parking there, can I get this other side? Don't hide the car. Mm. If genuinely you need assistance to know where to park, Get the, get the assistance. And don't, don't, don't borrow a big car to show off. Don't get a, a taxi to hide. Them. Don't, don't, don't do anything extra. Just be, be yourself. You. Why? The person who marries you right needs to marry the real you. If you hide too much and when they come close and realize it, don't know how they respond. Mm -hmm. You had a property somewhere. When they see it now, they're intimidated. Yeah. They should have known you are a property acquiring person and this is likely to be your life. 
if you hide something, will you continue with it? No. You have one car now and you're already thinking of upgrade, upgrading. If you hide this one, how will you upgrade? You have these clothes and you're already trying to check it and how you can order better ones. Now, if you hide this, <laughs> how will you upgrade? <laughs> the reason not to hide is because things will only get better from here. That's true. This is only a beginning. Yes. I tell you, I have a plot somewhere in Mehoko, you are intimidated and I'm trying to inquire. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> in Kiamburo. Yes. <laughs> you know, this house you are seeing here is only number one. This car is only the beginning part. This kind of home is only the beginning. Mm -hmm. And my life can only get better. Mm -hmm. So I want a person who can accommodate that kind of standard. The first rule with women who are progressive, self-driven, who are trying to acquire and who have been growing is never fake. If you fake, you attract fake. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> and don't brag. If you brag, people will hate the attitude, not the things you have. Yeah. <laughs> don't flaunt. And because I'm talking about women who have been moving, I am avoiding those low-level misbehaviors. <laughs> I don't want to, them to waste our time. For example, yeah. sit in a collected manner. Even when you're standing, stand with the right posture, please. Yes. Don't stand this way. I've seen people just standing in an offensive way. They're doing nothing, but they look so bad. Please organize your body even as you stand where? somewhere. Oga I saw somebody standing, and I had, when I got there, I looked back to see whether they look insane or they look clean or they look... Oh, God. This is a person who looks like... But the way they're standing, some yeah. habits can sell you off. That's true. When you're in the public space, maintain your lady posture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, be collected. I'm saying, I don't want to waste time with the primitive misbehaviors. Allah. They're <laughs> <laughs> too primitive. Mm -mm. <laughs> by the time you reach here where I'm discussing, yes. I, I'm hoping some things have been cleaned. I mean, by the time you're going for serious interviews, you have known how to be. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> you know, uh, some simple things like get a cloth that accentuates, dress in a manner that makes you stand out, pop, shine, makes you feel gully, makes you feel it because you always communicate what you feel. You walk mm. how you feel, you mm. talk how you feel, you sit how you feel. Bring the feeling. I hope by now you're enlightened enough to know you don't, you don't dress for them. First, dress, dress for, for you. you. You don't dress to impress. You're dressing to express mm. what you feel. You want it to rhyme with how you're feeling. Even the colors should go with something you need today. Your theme, and remember we say, the more you grow, you need colors that define find you actually you need a motif yeah create a logo oh yeah create something for yourself uh -huh. create a, some touches that always show up somewhere in your dressing yeah some and you can you can play the colors just maybe two yeah so they remind people of you in a subtle way <laughs> <laughs> rulers do it yes. near your head this stuff yes you see big people it's not for big even you you are big take mm. one Yes. <laughs> Do something for yes. your style. Design a style and then gradually build it. It gives you a larger than life presence. To insinuate it to people's mind, they start remembering you and these little things are way there. Mm. It's a subtle way to make yourself unique and stand out. We have so many people in the world, you don't want to be lost in the crowd. Yep. You want to be unique. So, <laughs> please clean up this more dirty habits of overeating. I've seen women eating a heap of food. I don't expect that by the time you're climbing this high. Mm. Why are you giving your stomach a discomfort and it is mm. making so much noise in the control that you're eating? You also think of you. some people they are eating so much and they're so small. It's just gluttony. The body does not need that much. How much you need of ugali is your fist size. Stop eating mountains. And it's a when you go for meetings, what? you see the mountain they are carrying, you despise them and it's public. Can you control your gluttony? Some of these primitive behaviors, please shave your armpits, shave yourself, stop smelling badly. When you some of these primitive, I don't want to go there, but they're irritating. I've seen them. Where? We are sorry. We apologize. <laughs> so clean up your manner. Yes. Very irritating. When you talk to a lady and she's smelling mouth her. Now you're the fantasized kissing her. How can you kiss her? I kiss it. Uh, you yes. know. <laughs> you know. A bad mission. <laughs> well, if she smells sweat, carry. Learn how your sweat behaves. Yeah. Carry counters. Eh? Yeah. I mean, Do you left, right, center. And I'm talking to most ladies who if they have a car, they're planning to buy one. Plan on buying a car because it's a moving house. You can carry a spare shoe. Mm -hmm. Stop embarrassing yourself on the road and running shoes that look as if you are dancing in security. And then you are dancing on the road and you're looking weird and funny. Organize yourself. For now, get a handbag. Carry
run your show that you can run on the road with. Yes. And please organize your time so that you avoid running. When you're running, you look weird and funny, like you're being chased. Mm. <laughs> please. Mm. Don't overuse your phone. Don't tie it with blood dust. If it is cracked on the screen, correct it. Look decent. Please. And stop looking so dried up. There is a dry, dry, dry. And you just like this, you know. And I'm just not at all lazy. <laughs> please. Make sure. <laughs> Make sure. Yes. Whatever you present up. So, so I expect this to be elementary. But it is amazing. That, hmm, don't wear trousers that are oversized. They make you look weird. Okay. If it's not fitting, don't wear it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> make sure it's fitting. Uh -huh. Don't copy your mom. She's coming from another generation. You yeah. she might be your inspiration and your mentor, but you are landing here on another generation. Yeah. Make sure you dress more than a youthful. That does not mean you're decent. Neither should you look like a granny, a mixture of granny plus mom divided by two younger size and then <laughs> that collection. <laughs> Make sure your independence. Don't think your independence too far. <laughs> If you're looking, if you're going for interview, you think of what the interviewers are likely to be looking for. Yes. One lady asked, are you saying we should change, we should, uh, change our personality to embrace men? Listen, when you sell, you think of the customer. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. When you went for an interview, you thought of what they might be wanting. Yes. And you behaved in a manner to win them. Yes. Pleasing people is part of life. Mm -hmm. Is the motive with which you do it. You mm -hmm. cannot, I can't marry you unless you wow me. Unless <laughs> you sweep me of my feet. Mm. And in order to do that, you put your best foot forward. We always do that. I don't dress like this 24-7. No. And we all know it. It's automatic. And I asked yes. you the other day, do you want your pilot to come there dressed because he likes hockey? No. <laughs> what do you no. hockey no. with? No. That it's the same person. Let me just play. was in a hockey mood. So no. You want as much preparedness and presentation for the task as possible. That is so true. Dating is an interview. Please, dress for it. <laughs> change for it and learn how to brush your teeth more than once, mm. how to shower more than once as necessary when it becomes necessary and please force yourself if you hate cleaning, buy a washing machine if you hate washing dishes, buy a dishwasher but compensate these things, you don't have to like them but because they're necessary, organize your life and get them done, if you have a car behave, pay a hundred, get it washed Yes. you could see one lady in a neighborhood used to be in she's coming out there washing, looking very clumsy she's trying to wash the car, so one did you afford a car? And you cannot afford a hundred books. <laughs> <laughs> so she would look very struggling, struggling. She has no gift. And she was just not being miser. Do you really afford it? Or people are saying, this must be a sponsor car. Because mm. by the time you reach that level, surely, why are you still being stingy with hundred shillings? Oh, <laughs> you know? So we are saying, the, things, the first thing is, don't hide who you are. Don't flaunt it. Don't brag. The second rule is, because your development progressive your mind you are you you have a future and a vision and is driven the kind of people whom you can match with are also as few and they possess the same traits just the way you're buried in the world they're buried in the world mm -hmm. but when the time comes to get the next project what do you do you go to the market yeah so now that the time has come for you to go to the market change your life enough to be visible appear in the market Change your lifestyle in a way that you have traffic of potential people. One problem with the Moikali type of people are up here is because you have so many people who know you, who talk to you. But that aspect can be very lonely and quiet. Mm -hmm. While you are still busy talking to many people mm -hmm. because they are not talking to you in that sense. Yeah. <laughs> you <Yeah>. know, <laughs> it's possible to switch off your romantic energy even when you are public and busy. <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing, Zulu. It feels like you're laughing at me. But it's fine. I'm learning. <laughs> so that mentally, you know, I'm open for it. But practically. Nothing is <laughs> You know, and because um, the more you grow, so the more you become corporate. The more you learn how, how to charm, how to talk to people, to break the ice, how to, mm. make, more, how to make contact. One lady applied the rule I'm discussing now, and she, she, she summarized it well. She said she was coming from those clumsy dating. Mm -hmm. Unfulfilling, falling, now, now you have to see, fall out again, heart bleeding, <laughs> feel this one, fall in, now, <laughs> come back again. By the time you tell oh, I'm not, oh, relationship don't work for me. Oh, my God. <laughs> Because you've been using your feelings, <laughs> falling, <Yes. laughs> and now having to collect yourself mm. and bleeding for a while, mm. and trying to stagger again and fall into another yeah. one. <laughs> so the clumsy one had gotten her so beaten. And by the time she watched and she, ah, so she followed our class. 
and I challenge them to simply turn on the romantic energy. Okay. You know, put on that the best romantic version of you, not cheap or indecent, romantic, lovely, the butterfly. Put it on, feel gully, and then open your social life for interactions. You yourself contact people. When there is, check your inbox. Many of you ignore your inbox for months. <coughs> because it's just a lot of annoying people. Yeah. Inside the annoying people, there will also be good people. Okay. <laughs> I'm taking notes. <laughs> Go to discussions online that are talking serious matters. Many of you are in gossip sites mm -hmm. and you're being filled with the trash and things about unfaithfulness and infidelity that you are so full of doubts whether there is any seriousness and purity and, uh, and the humanity and integrity left in the world. Because you are in pages that people are conversing the decayed side of human decadence. Yeah. It's what you're consuming daily. What you consume becomes your reality. Your mind gives out what you give. You begin to see the world in, in that uh, thing of cheating, 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 mm. cheating, mm. cheating. The first time I talked to my girl was in a serious forum. We were always commenting, commenting, and I picked her comments. We would comment on each other. We realized somebody has supported my view. We talked in public forums before I ever inboxed. Where are you? Where are you spending your time? In this social media world, mm -hmm. in this digital world, mm -hmm. most of our time is digitally connected. Where are you digitally connected? Where are you going during free time? And I'm not saying something you're forcing yourself into. Mm -mm. Most development-minded people, growth-minded people want ideas of life. So they're in pages that are full of ideas. Where are you? That could be the place you have a lot of saved people who are serious with life. Who can notice? So put profiles, don't put shoes and squiddles. Please. <laughs> many, many of you are enthusiasts for funny things. <laughs> and so you put it everywhere. Even if you are a child, you have a child, you are not Mama Victor. <laughs> no. You are Jane. Yes. <laughs> Please don't forward. You are, my son is my world. Yes. <laughs> he is important, mm -hmm. but he's not your world. Here we wanted to date the lady, not the mother. Mm -hmm. <laughs> People marry you despite having a child. Don't marry you because you have a child. Yes. <laughs> Very clear. <laughs> so it's don't clear. forward the child. Forward yourself. When people like you, they'll say. I, you, are now, you are good for me. You are the one I want. Not The boy is good for me. Let marry the mother. You don't hear that. No. <laughs> it is you. Yes. So make sure even as you talk there, what is appearing there is very appealing. And just because the noisemakers, the admirers are always throwing high, high inbox does not mean you ignore the other serious guys. Okay. Don't let your inbox become forgotten. And also don't go to children's TikTok and the place where it's young group only yeah. and then you are not present where the adults are. Yes. Check age groups. Many of these, they came with age groups. TikTok is recent. Mm -hmm. The younger group went there more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Instagram Facebook. was before it. Yeah. The another, older than TikTok yes. went there. Yeah. Facebook came first. Mm. <laughs> so we are there. We, we are there. <laughs> That's where. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> And she said she changed those things and, she, and because I taught them how to greet decent people, start conversation. Mm -hmm. You don't say I love you. No, no. Don't use love. But you can like what he does, like what he is wearing. You can express connection or admiration in a generous sense. But in case it's not available, there's no guilt or anything, or awkwardness. Okay. That's how the conversation picked to read their married. And she was celebrating the marriage. Say, I, this is the most wonderful man I've ever seen. And I simply followed some of the things you said that looked you know, oh, wow. <laughs> they work. Yes. Let me tell you, the last thing, because you have a lot to tell these women. Yes, I don't think we have enough time to <laughs> in this particular <laughs> video. Part two is definitely coming. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, the last thing to tell these women is to, I want you to sanitize yourself against um, combative feminism. Don't see men as rivals. You may have seen a lot of Men who did not impress you, but the man you're looking for is a gentleman. Just, say, just believe those men exist and start manifesting them in your conversation. Yes. Affirming them and knowing that 
they exist there. Just because you're gentle and you're polite, you find a gentle and polite man who has integrity, who is respectful, who is loving, who is humble, who is balanced, who is secure, who will let you fly, who you will fly together. You will find a friend, a soulmate, who you think alike. You must believe they exist before you meet them. If you don't believe they exist, even if you saw him here, you will suspect him and, 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 and dis discard him. You must see it within you. If you are that kind of people, they are not such men. You never see them. Why are they? You can't see them because perhaps you're not like them. Yes. You're not one of... You are not of that kind. They are not even looking for you. They are not even calling you out. They see you. <laughs> if you become the gentle kind of one they are looking for, who is balanced. Remember when you are looking for a wife, you look like you are, you are looking for a running mate. Who can comfortably work under me and who has resources of her own. She can persuade, she can think, she can add things to the table. Those men who are unaware, they get a very weak woman, thinking weak is submissive. Yeah. And then they get a person who has no resources to add. If you just pick anybody for running mate, Mm. They will not bring any votes. Mm. You need a person who, yes, they have votes, they have persuasion, but they are also pliable. They can work under you. Yeah. Some people have a lot of persuasion and a lot of following, but they will come to overrule you. They can't uh, play under you. Yeah. So a man wants that woman who has resources of her own, name of her own, progress of her own, she has built of her own, but she she's eagerly ready to work under you. And we said some simple manners. When you meet for dates, switch your mind from being the leader and the one in charge. Yeah. Let the one, let him be the one. <coughs> he wants to pull the chair, let him do it. It's yeah. not that you have already come to, to, to put the chair and call the waiter. <laughs> Did I know that? Then? No, let him be those. And if you want to pay the, if you want to pay the, uh, let him pay. You're not used to pay, to being paid for because yes. by nature maybe you're forefront. You're the one giving, the yeah. one. And you're always choosing the way. Don't walk in front of him. Don't shoot questions. Don't be aggressive. Adopt a feminine voice that is playful and easy and conversational. This is not excessive acting. Just adopt the personality of being relaxed and letting the man be ahead. Learn to take that throne and le rest in it, you know. Yeah. Let some of these things, okay, can, what do you think here? Yeah, yes, what do you think? You think together, you discuss, but you're not forcing, no, I want this. No, 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 no. Yeah. You, let, let it flow the way you like it to flow. Remember, all healthy women are, are, are created to teamwork. Unless you have distorted yourself through pain and bad experiences. Even the most successful women enjoy teamwork with a man who, is, who has a sense of direction, who cherishes her, who, see, who brings out the girl in her, the fun in her, who, who validates her, who sees her as beautiful as a queen. If a healthy woman, however she is, whoever she is, if she finds a man like that, she eagerly submits to him. Remember, I sacrifice for her, she submits to me. She's not submitting to a vacuum. No. She's submitted to the kind of love yes. I win her and she says, she happily lets go and yeah. let me uh, lead. So let the man demonstrate how he can control, take care of th all things. I mean, show you the way and mm. invite your input and you're flowing together as a team which allows you to relax. Knowing somebody will handle their part. There's a part that my wife handles. There's a part that you as a woman will handle better. Maybe the aesthetics you are better at them. Maybe we'll have out. Many things will be your docket. Yes. But the leadership of the family, you comfortably let him lead and you relax. Yes. It's a beautiful dynamic and I like how you put it because it's in the way you love me that I will eagerly be able to just feel okay, I trust you, I believe in you, I believe in us, and could I comment about Mweni. Mweni says, I know I am not alone. Some of us are too independent and it's almost uncomfortable to sit back and see another person pay bills. We are learning and balancing. Mm. Even if we're not used to being given, we slowly fade away from users and mean people. Mm -hmm. No matter how rich you are, my dad and my guy will never allow me to pay their bills. If you insist, they will grudgingly say yes. And to just conclude this conversation, what you don't want, I think conclude for today. I just feel like there's more. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for today, for today. <laughs> what you don't want is to come off as a headstrong person who will take off in their own tangent. But at the same time, you cannot be weak and unable to bring value. Mm. He can see from your general presentation that you are a person of class and dignity mm -hmm. and promise. Mm -hmm. You will add force to his life. Do not overdo in a bid to show this. It will come out in your conversations about what you've done in your life so far and the discipline you've exercised in your life. It feels soft and nice to be in that feminine energy. Try it. You may like it. Thank you.